cup was full before he got to school And then he showed up late, looking like a fool He had drool on his chin from waking up late And an aching in his belly, cause he barely ever ate The clothes he wore were straight off the floor There was an odor, pretty hard to ignore Before he goes to class, he got a show ID But he lost it, five dollar penalty He just wants to sit down and take a deep breath Forget about his dad locked up for meth But his homework, once again, he forgot And the teacher gotta put him right on the spot Like, where's it at? Why is it late? How come you can never keep nothing straight? And he don't wanna debate, but he gets defensive. Says a couple things you could call offensive. But just like that, kicked out of class. And that's one more class he might never pass. Told he can come back when he's ready to learn. But what's he gonna learn if he doesn't return? He'll learn being by himself is much less demanding. No failure and no reprimanding. It also ingrains his understanding. Adults in his life will just keep on stranding him on his own. Keep leaving him alone. If he wanted neglect, he could have just stayed home. But he came to school and he wants to grow. He's been through things no one should have to know. Now I'm not saying his behavior should be tolerated. But a little compassion is appreciated Teaching is hard and we get frustrated But so much harder when we're separated One smile, one minute And let him know you're there and that he's not alone in it He looks tough, but he's not This chat you give him might be all that he's got He needs more Told you that 2 plus 2 was like 25 What would you do? Probably teach, reteach, and then teach again But if the kid talks back, then the lesson ends We send him home, three day suspension Call it discipline, but it lacks dimension Completely ineffective in the way of prevention Provides no process for ascension Dissension, reinforced daily basis Detention, administered, stuck in stasis Think if we administered true solutions What would that do to our evolution? Restorative practice, revolution Healing what hurts, purify the pollution Some like to say that the system's broken That doesn't really help with no suggestions, folks there's people working hard from the inside out That the media never says much about They report the mess and never the success Because people doing well doesn't so much press They stress the kid that got incarcerated But not the at risk that graduated They never show his mom's face so elated Cause the news is negatively saturated So teachers try to stay positive Learn to let it go and then to forgive There's quite a few kids that are counting on you And there's so many sides to the job you do You're an innovator, a co-creator A mentor and a collaborator Your classroom's a magical incubator Giving nourishment and there's Nothing greater. One smile, one minute, and let him know you're there and that he's not alone in it. He looks tough, but he's not. This chat you give him might be all that he's got. He needs more. Give him some more. Steinbeck once said that I have come to believe that a great teacher is a great artist and that there are as few as there are any other great artists. Teaching might even be the greatest of the arts since the medium is the human mind and spirit. What kind of artist do you want to be?